The hashtag Free Britney movement began to surface in the midst of 2019. Fans and celebrities support fueled an online social movement for American music icon Britney Spears against her ongoing conservatorship that started in 2008. The online movement sparked in 2019, followed the allegations revolving around Britney's time in a psychiatric facility. And although this movement has been overshadowed by many other trends, especially when the illness hit and tons of events happen, the online movement is resurfacing once again on social media after Britney Spears recently announced her real situation from the hands of her own father. She publicly addressed the court for the first time, calling the conservatorship as terrible while demanding an end to the agreement. She said, I don't think I can live a full life. I feel ganged up on, I feel bullied and I feel alone. According to her, the conservatorship has not turned out to be a support system, but rather a display of hurt. And because of this, Britney Spears has reportedly been avoiding conversation with her father, or worse yet, she is absolutely refusing to talk to her own dad right now. Britney has also pushed to remove her father, Jamie, from the conservatorship and has vowed to put her career on hold until that happens. But how did this supposedly good influence turn out to be Britney's worst nightmare? How did she end up in the conservatorship and how will things turn out now that she has finally spoken about her sufferings? Let's find out in this video, but first, make sure to hit that subscribe button and smash that notification bell for more updates on Britney Spears' stand for her freedom. So let's dive in. To start, let's understand what a conservatorship is and why Britney had to be under one. As reported by CBS News, a conservatorship is legally defined as a court case where a judge appoints an individual or organization called the conservator to care for someone who cannot care for themselves or who cannot manage their own finances. A staff attorney with the ACLU told CBS News that conservatorship laws will vary from state to state making it difficult to determine exactly how many exist across the country. The attorney said Britney is one of the untold thousands nationwide under a guardianship or conservatorship, calling her case unique because of her fame and fortune, and said it's also interesting because it is in some ways quite typical. We see across the country that people get into conservatorships and guardianships that they can't get out of. So in Britney's case, it did not just control her finances, it encompassed everything from her assets to her path to fame and her entire career, as well as her clothes, her shows, her meetings, and basically her entire life. So why did Britney Spears need this? Britney's a celebrity like no other, an A-list performer who pulls in millions of dollars a year. She even topped Forbes' list of world's highest paid celebrities in 2002 and again in 2012. And we all know that every aspect of fame has its own consequences. For Britney, it cost her health and peace of mind. And we're sure it's really hard to forget those images that we cannot unsee. Britney driving with a baby in her lap, shaving her head, speaking in a British accent, being wheeled out of her Beverly Hills mansion on a stretcher. In 2008 alone, she was admitted to a Californian psychiatric ward twice, known in California as a 5150 hold. After the second time she was committed to the ward, her father, Jamie Spears, petitioned LA County Superior Court for an emergency temporary conservatorship. The arrangement was made permanent by the end of that year. Brittany was then considered the conservatee and her father, Jamie, the conservator. According to reports from the Los Angeles Times, Jamie Spears had complete control over a large chunk of her life as court documents show that Jamie Spears has the power to negotiate business opportunities, sell her property, and restrict her visitors. He can file for restraining orders against those he believes threatens his daughter's stability. Actually, according to law experts, it is rather unusual for women as young as Britney to be subjected to a conservatorship because the system is usually implemented for old people or those that are disabled. But because Britney is a huge star, she has to protect her assets, and given her wealth may be too immense for her to handle, it may also be a shiny gem that attracts people who may not have the best intentions about her fame and money. So it is indeed the right thing if you think about it, but that is until you hear what actually happened during the time that Britney was totally controlled by her so-called support system. In January of 2019, Britney announced an indefinite hiatus and the cancellation of her planned Las Vegas residency after her father Jamie suffered a near-fatal colon rupture. 
Because of this, she voluntarily entered a rehab facility for 30 days amidst stress from her father's illness. Yet a former member of Britney's team claimed that Jamie had canceled the planned residency due to the singer's refusal to take her medication, that he had been holding her in the facility against her will since January 2019 after she violated a no driving rule and that her conservatorship was supposed to have ended in 2009. These claims brought on the emergence of the hashtag Free Britney movement. For years, Britney remained tight-lipped through the issue, speaking only through her legal team and by making subtle comments alluding to the arrangement. But on June 23rd, she broke her silence by making a public statement to the court, pushing the judge to end the conservatorship. Following her request in August to remove her father in the conservatorship, she finally spoke about her dad's treatment towards her during the support process. Aside from the fact that obviously Britney won't talk to her father again, at least not until this whole conservatorship chaos has been settled, she's also refusing to perform while her father is still in control of her career. Since her recent appeal at court to remove her own self as her conservator, she is still in the middle of her battle to freedom. And she said that she would not perform again while her father retains control over her career and said the conservatorship she has been under for 13 years had ended her dreams. In her lengthy Instagram post, she stated that she won't be performing anytime soon on a stage as long as her father Jamie is still in control of her life and career. After first calling out the people closest to her, who she believes have failed her in the recent years, the womanizer singer shared a follow-up post to her Instagram about the future of her career amid her conservatorship battle. She said, I'm not going to be performing on any stages anytime soon with my dad handling what I wear, say, do, or think. And this is following her message about her father, Jamie Spears, sister Jamie Lynn Spears, and a so-called support system that hurt her deeply. However, Jamie Spears has also spoken to CNN a few months ago regarding Britney trying to kick him out of the conservatorship and about his status with his daughter. He admitted that he hasn't spoken to Britney in months, but he misses her. I love my daughter and I miss her very much, Jamie Spears said. When a family member needs special care and protection, Families need to step up, as I've done for the last 12 plus years, to safeguard, protect, and continue to love Britney unconditionally. I have and will continue to provide unwavering love and fierce protection against those with self-serving interests and those who seek to hurt her or my family, he added. According to Jamie Spears, he was in touch with his daughter and was on good terms with her up until August of this year when she finally requested for his removal from her support system. Britney Spears' conservatorship started out smoothly and with the pure intention of helping her in making huge decisions that she couldn't probably make on her own at that time. But it had taken a darker and more unsettling turn. Britney has had her rights taken away, not only as an independent musician, but as a human being. The conservatorship has not only affected her estate and songs, but as well as her friends, her boyfriend visits, her clothing, style, and her health. That's all for today. If you enjoyed that video, make sure to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for more videos like this. Also, don't forget to check out our previous videos on this and many other topics. Stay tuned and thank you for watching.